Hi Aries, this is going to be your love reading for this month of March. Um, I have an intuitive message for you before I get into like what this reading is going to consist of. I feel like somebody that loves you or that is interested in you, they're confused by you. I also feel like this person is causing some kind of confusion. I feel like they don't understand you. Like maybe they don't understand what you want, what you're looking for. Um, I feel like someone's confused by you or maybe there's some kind of language barrier. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm getting like some kind of confusion with this love story here. But this reading is going to be, the first part of this reading is going to be your general energies for this month of March, your general love energies or whatever pops out, even if it's not love related. The second spread we're going to do is going to be for people that are dealing with somebody, what's going to be the outcome, what's currently going on. And the third spread we're going to do is going to be for singles. We're going to see who's coming towards you or what the energy is surrounding your love life. But yeah, I'm hearing somebody is confused by you, Aries, in regards to love. Um, okay. I feel like the answer is really simple or it's not, it's not as, it's not like that deep. Like it's not as big as somebody's making it, but they're still confused. Like I'm really, I don't, the energy that I'm getting is like, what is there to be confused about? It's either we're in this or we're not. Like what, what's the, conf what, what, what's the confusion? Why, why, what are you not understanding? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So what's going on in general? for Aries this month of March in terms of love. I'm hearing somebody's good with the ladies or somebody's good with the men. So it's a ladies man or a ladies or a, um, a, a men's woman or something. I don't know. All right, what's going on for Aries? I'm hearing somebody's jealous of you. This could be another Taurus or it could be another Aries. I'm hearing they're born in the month of April. Um, I feel like they're jealous of you because the attention you get. You could be a woman. Let, okay, let's say you're one gender. Someone could be jealous of you because you attract not only the opposite gender, but the same as well. So you could get it both ways. Whether you swing that way or not, both genders could be interested in you. And that's why someone's jealous. Because it's like, damn, you took the men and you took the fucking woman. Shit. What, what do I got left now? What, what are my options? Um, okay, so the Eight of Cups. So you could find out someone's bisexual or you could be bisexual Aries, but even if you're not, even if you're just one way, you're just straight or you're just into what you're into, this reading could still apply to you. That's just a separate message I'm getting. Um, Eight of Cups, Aries, I feel like some of you guys need to start looking for new jobs or applying for new things, like new positions. Maybe it's not even just new jobs. Maybe it's just apply for different roles, different positions. Um, so I wanted to see if you guys could see these cards. Okay, the Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups for Aries? I feel like somebody at your job could want to sleep with you. What's the Eight of Cups for Aries? I also feel like someone misses you. It could be someone that you went to school with or someone that you have a history with. But I feel like this per yeah, the Six of Cups. Um, I, I, I don't know why. I feel like this person got you fucked up, though. Like, I don't know why. I feel like this person, they could be confused with their own sexuality or they could just be confused in general, like their mind. They just don't have clarity right now on whatever whatever's going on. Um, I feel like this person is confused whether they want a relationship or not. The eight, the eight to the six simplifies to the two of cups. I feel like someone is causing confusion and they're bringing that into whatever kind of connection you guys have because they're unsure or because they, they lack their own clarity. So they're causing a lot of instability. The eight of cups, six of cups. I, I'm also getting... I, I, back to the message where I said this person got you fucked up I feel like they're they might I don't know if they're gonna accuse you of being one way when you really are the other or like I'm hearing like I don't know what you got me confused for or who you think I am but I'm not that person like I do not swing that way or I'm not into that I don't know I don't know where you got that from so I, I don't know there's some kind of there's some kind of thing here about like where you fit in or someone thinking that you're one way and you're not this could be relating to sexuality. Someone thinks that you're into this and you're not. Or this could be someone just got you fucked up. Like, I don't know who you thought I was, but I'm not that bitch. I'm not that person. I'm not that guy. I'm, I'm not. I'm not that person. I'm not the one. Yeah, I don't know who someone got you confused for. What's the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups for Aries this month of March? General. I feel like people... <laughs> what the fuck, yo? Who the fuck? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Because... I feel like people really got you messed up right now. The Five of Wands, Queen of Cups. Five of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Sun, and the Four of Wands. I feel like people got you confused for somebody else. I don't know if that means literally or if that just means like 
they got you messed up like they got you all wrong like on, on some real shit like you got me messed the fuck up not even messed up messed the fuck up I don't know some people may have thought that you were this kind of person but yeah no I don't I don't swing I'm not I don't roll that way I'm not that don't ever get me fucked up for that don't ever confuse me for that because I'm not that person I'm not the one so this feels like either someone is making a bad judgment on you or they're insulting your character in some way or they're they're just they're they're making bad judgments on your character based off of something else I don't know eight of cups six of cups five of wands I feel like it's because of association like maybe you associate with a group of people so they automatically think that you roll that way or that you think the same way that they do yeah no just because I hang around these people they're not my friends or just because I sleep with these people I don't think like them or just because like I don't know there's something about your individuality here like your your unique character is getting confused because you're in the mix or is getting confused like bad shit I'm getting like bad shit on your name because you're in the mix or people are confusing you for somebody else like just because I hang around her, we are not best friends. Just because I hang around him don't mean we're fucking. I don't know what you, I don't know what you thought this was, but it's not that. I don't know, something about that. It's like people see something and they just assume. What is this to me? What were this for Aries? But I feel like what I'm getting, I don't know what this is talking about specifically, but I feel like that's not the case like whatever they said whatever they're saying or whatever they said is wrong it's inaccurate you're spreading false news that's false that's fake ten of swords so yeah i feel like you're gonna end it right here you're gonna uh cut through the bullshit right here yeah let's get this straight right now that's you're wrong like i'm getting something about like something like that because i don't know who they got you confused for what what, what is somebody confusing aries for here in general I feel like they're confusing you for somebody else like they think that you're into this lifestyle because this person is like no so this is the classic case of like you know how people say like um birds of a feather flock together like whoever you're friends with that's who you become or that's who you start thinking like because you associate with certain people you must be just like them right or because they think you associate maybe you don't even fuck with these people but they just be around you and because of that oh she aries is like this or they like that something like that seven of pentacles i feel like um tell the truth here i feel like aries you really are a modest person or you're this queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles can represent modesty it can represent integrity that, that's that's the king that's the queen king and queen of swords but integrity but this person is a modest person very focused on her money very focused on everything physical and tangible tangible and she nurtures that what she cares about she is a nurturer she's a caretaker as well as a provider in my eyes but i don't know you may have gotten mixed up with the wrong crowd here and they think that you're this person now whoever this queen of cups is this this um i don't know i don't know queen of cups could be um uh i was about to say gemini libra or aquarius could be a pisces as well or a cancer scorpio i'm here in cusper could be as well but I feel like they got you fucked up and confused. Like, yeah, you think I'm this bitch. You yeah, know, no. Just because we've exchanged a few words, you think we're best friends or something like that. I don't know, I'm getting some weird energy here. They got you confused for somebody else. But once again, I feel like you're not involved in this or you're not associated with this. I don't do this with these people. They are, no, I do not. Look, let me make that very clear. Let me cut right through this bullshit. That is a fucking lie. That is false okay um i don't know that was a, that was a interesting message but um okay so we're gonna pull for we're gonna pull a past present future spread for the person for if for, for those aries that are dealing with somebody currently romantically in this month of march um tell me more about aries okay two of swords and the I'll take these, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the, the spread separate. What is the two of swords and the the lovers card? I feel like if you're dealing with a Gemini here or somebody here, it's a losing battle. I feel like this person's literally a loser. Um, I'll just be very mindful if you get involved with this person. I feel like they want a relationship. They don't. They want. I don't know. They they don't know what they want. 
maybe they know what they want but they're confusing as like as the, like just as a person themselves like they want this but their mind they're not clear like they're unstable okay but um we're gonna see now for Aries that are dealing with somebody currently this month of March romantically, who is this person that they're dealing with? Who is this person that Aries is dealing with romantically this month of March? The moon? I'm hearing they try to hide it, but they can't. Maybe how they feel about you, like it's very obvious. It's very overt. That's the word, right? Overt, yes. Opposite of covert. The moon. <clears throat> the three of cups. And the ten of swords yeah i feel like someone's trying to hide something but they cannot hide it so this could be like a secret relationship a secret fling or maybe they just don't want people to know or there there needs to be an element of secret secrecy here the moon three of cups and the ten of swords like i'm getting somebody tries to fake it but they can't like you can't fake what this feels like or what this looks like like it looks like this is real or some shit. i don't know what's the moon the three of cups and the ten of swords for who this person aries is dealing with is the moon three of cups oh and the ten uh the, the, let's say the ten the death card in reverse scorpio energy so let me say what energy we have here we have water for sure we have cancer energy with the three of cups as a deacon of cancer um we have pisces here and cancer with the moon and we have the death card so scorpio energy and the Ten of Swords could be air energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but this is a deacon of Gemini, so all those signs. Um, I feel like lying about something is going to get somebody in trouble. Lying about what here? Lying about something is going to get somebody in trouble here. So I feel like it's somebody's bet. I don't know if it's your best bet to tell the truth or somebody else's best bet to tell the truth. Because lying is, is not going to really help here. Ten of Swords and the King of Pentacles. The Moon, Three of Three of Cups, Ten of Swords. Someone could be lying about you as well. Gossip, because this could be backstabbing and betrayal. The, the Ten of Swords could represent could represent a lot of things, but one of its messages that I feel resonates here, because the Three of Cups is also here, which talks about gossip, you know, girls or groups, um, you know, rumors. Ten of Swords. This could be someone's gossiping about you. It could be a Pisces, and I feel like this person is watching you. Could be a woman, could be someone older than you or something, or a Scorpio. I don't know. I feel like somebody in this situation is lying here, and I feel like someone's spreading false news or gossip about your relationship with somebody. Whether you're like dating them or you're you're just friends with them or you're whatever whatever relationship you have with this person, someone's spreading false news or lies or gossip on this person's name, on your name, or on both of y'all names. The Moon, Three of Cups. I feel like in this situation, you guys need to see other people or maybe it's important that you're seen with other people to not bring light or to not bring any more attention to whatever is going on in secret. So it's kind of like distracting them or diverting their attention to this so that they're not focused on this. It's like the magician. I think the magician, it didn't come out, but I saw the card, I think, earlier. I think um, the Hierophant. The moon, three of cups, ten of swords. Yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces. This person, king of pentacles on the higher font. Definitely could be a Taurus here. Someone may call you while they're drunk. This person may drink a lot or indulge a lot. Um, I'm getting this person has an issue speaking with people or speaking to people. It's either they have like a a speech impediment social anxiety or they just have an issue talking to people i don't know what other issue that would be but um i feel like if you're gonna get involved with this individual be careful when getting involved with them i don't know why though i don't know if they're the if they're the reason like th them themselves is the reason why you need to be careful or if there's just outside energy that you need to be careful of once you get involved with this person but we're going to clarify that why does aries need to be careful I'm also getting Aries, be careful who you listen to, who you get information from, because this same person that's telling you this is spreading all these lies about you. Um, the page of page of wands. I feel like I heard in this situation, it's best to remain indifferent, even to your friends. I feel like you need to lie. Okay, so I, I was getting tell the truth earlier, 
but I didn't know who needed to tell the truth. I feel like it's in your best interest to lie to everybody about this person, whoever you're seeing. Lie to every. You gotta lie to your friends, lie to your family. Don't tell them shit. I don't know why, but. Because I feel like once these people know, that's how shit gets open. That's how it gets aired out. That's how rumors or gossip spreads. That what people cannot touch what they don't know. People cannot destroy what they don't know anything about. They can speculate. They could be rumors. But if there's no actual evidence or nobody actually knows what's going on, nobody actually knows who's dealing with who, nobody actually knows the truth, then you're safe. You're protected. They can just gossip and rumor all about what they want. Your relationship with this King of Pentacles could be a... Um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or just a wealthy businessman, or someone that's a, focused on their money, has a lot of money, maybe, family-oriented man, stays protected. This could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. They are very interested in you, is what I feel like. But I feel like this is a hurdle. The moon, the three of cups, this gossip, this drama, this jealousy, whatever this is going on. He said, she said, he say, she say everything around yeah page of swords gossip that's the gossip card if i ever saw it plus the three of cups ten of swords i feel like someone's in denial in denial about what in denial someone does not want to believe that this relationship is really happening or it's what's going on but i feel like it is it's just some people maybe don't believe it the page of swords the chariot card could be a cancer in the mix here we have cancer energy three of cups and the sun. I feel like you need, I feel like uh Aries, you need to be mindful. Oh shit, I, eyelash went directly in my eye. I'm like five of them things. You need to be mindful of who you're telling the truth to and who you're lying to. Like you need to know who's who's in your posse or who's not. Because if nobody's in your posse, then bitch, you got a lot of Nick, bitch, whatever, man, you got a lot, girl, man, you got a lot of everybody. I'm sorry, bitch is in my vocabulary. I, I curse a lot. It's, it's a form of my expression. <laughs> um, I feel like the truth will come out here, though. What's the sun card? I, I didn't even do the spread. Like, I was just so in tune trying to be nosy. The sun and the knight of wands and the... I feel like a Scorpio is going to reveal this truth to you. A Scorpio. The Sun, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. A Scorpio is going to reveal some kind of truth to you. It could be about a Virgo, about a Sagittarius, or about what somebody said about you. I think somebody's spreading false news, lies, whatever. I'm getting for some of you, this could be an, an intimidation tactic. Okay, I mean, do I even need to do the spread if I just figured everything out? Let me, I guess I'll do the spread still. Um, let me, let me just keep the cards that came out already. All right, I'll keep these four cards and then we'll do past, present, future. So what happened in the past with this person that Aries is currently dealing with? Damn, your reading is interesting but i gotta cut your reading because can't be out here for like 30 minutes what happened in the past between aries and this person i'm gonna do one card what's going on currently between aries and this person in the month of march five of cups and what's what what is the future outcome between aries and this person month of march okay so in the past what happened was the four of wands i feel like you guys were the four of wands right You guys could have been separated and there was a reunion and then you guys became inseparable. Like, I feel like you got what you wanted in the past with this connection or whatever this is, this relationship. Four of Wands can talk about like a family reunion or just reunion with people, like a celebration, welcome party. Um, I feel like this person may have wanted to celebrate with you. Definitely could have been your birthday or there could have been alcoholic drinks involved, whatever. Or there may have been a plan to celebrate. Also, happy birthday, Aries. Shit. Sorry. Four of Wands. This person may have wanted to celebrate with you, go out, party, whatever. Current moment, the Five of Pentacles. This person no longer wants to or you're, you feel like you're being left out in the cold. Or maybe you hear what someone's spreading about you and that's making you feel weird or feel different. 
I also feel like now this person cannot be without you or you guys could be inseparable right now, currently. Like, you guys are not able to be apart from each other. So you guys are in this together. In the future of this connection, I feel like it could be a little bit unstable. If I'm being honest, I heard unstable. The strength, the nine of, one, nine of swords, and the two of swords. Be careful, Aries. Not, I'm not calling you out or saying anything, but this is a message I'm hearing. I don't know you personally. This is what I'm hearing. Do not result to old habits or old ways. Do not result to bad habits or vices to get over whatever this hurdle or whatever this is that's going on. Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords. There's the Seven of Swords. Strength card is eight Leo energy. We saw the sun earlier. What is it? I keep feeling an energy of tell the truth. What is this that what what is this truth that needs to be told here? The Ace of Cups. Maybe how you feel about somebody. I feel like you feel like you're coming on too strong, or maybe someone doesn't want the same things you do. I just feel like it's worry and anxiety. I feel like it's just fear that you have. I don't feel like it's based in reality or founded. I feel like what's real is what you guys are currently going through this all this other shit that you're dealing with is in is in your head but i feel like that's what's coming is fear or worry who's out to get you or uncertainty how can aries combat this i feel like for some of you um you need to speak with a gemini in regards to dealing with this energy these are deacon, this is a deacon of gemini they know they know best about anxiety stress fear worry that's this that's the that's the deacon that they rule the nine of swords and the ten of swords i also feel like tell the truth if it's in regards to a virgo you should tell the truth or something like that or a pisces or something like that Why is it important for Aries to tell the truth in the situation or someone to tell the truth? Because I feel like you're dealing with sensitive information. The Ace of Pentacles. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Ace of Pentacles. Because I feel like at first you kept something private. So now I feel like it's in your best interest to... Wait. Ace of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. I feel like in order to, if you were trying to scope out information, we saw that page of swords, right? Holding back to get information or to get the truth. If you're trying to scope out information, like what somebody said about you or something like that, I feel like it's best if you hold back to get somebody else's truth about what somebody said about you. So whether that means you have to lie a little bit to get the truth, bend the truth a little bit, or you have to spill a little bit of your drama to get the truth, I feel like ace of pentacles that's the only way it's going to get back to you or something like that maybe some of you guys feel this way because you're having to hold something in because you can't tell the truth because you have to lie because the nine and the two of swords is a seven of swords that talks about deception lies a liar trickery mo uh, mockery i feel like you're having to hold all of this in everything that you're hearing even the bad stuff about you about your truth about what's being said what's what's being lied about the rumors like i feel like it's all like coming back or haunting you i feel like for some of you what's haunting you is the fact that these rumors are true but you still have to lie because you already committed to it you can't tell the truth now i feel i don't know why i feel like that all right um okay aries damn okay Okay, now we're gonna do a singles read real quick because i don't want this reading to get longer than 30 minutes or 29 minutes shouldn't even been this long but um what is going on for my single aries this month of march my single aries this month of march what's going on for my single aries some of you guys could be dealing with the capricorn page of wands and the nine of pentacles and the, the queen of pentacles so yeah some of y'all single aries y'all could be focused on a capricorn another aries or you uh, some of you guys could be going back to your ex that's what i heard your ex your ex could be a capricorn or have capricorn in their chart um but some of y'all are just minding your business and worried about your money going about your day 
I feel like you minding your business, so people do not need to mind you or yours. Y'all can mind y'all business, too, if I can stay in my place. You need to stay in yours. Page of Wands. I feel like a lot of you guys are very independent. Um, I don't care what was said. I don't care what's going on or what's going on around, whatever. I don't care what the latest gossip is. I'm just focused on me, myself, and I and my money. Some of you guys could be sexually frustrated, though, with this rabbit card. I feel like there's a lot of fear that you singles have with relationships fear of like trusting people and being trusted it could have been after a relationship with a virgo or a person someone could have been a uh, i keep getting every time the nine of pentacles does talk about like when i looked up the definition of this when i was first studying these cards first when i first got into tarot there was one website that said the nine of pentacles could represent prostitution which makes sense because you know she make her own money you know the nine of pentacles represents independence self-employment whatever a lot of stuff i keep hearing prostitution so i don't know <laughs> if that's what you were or if that's what you're into you know kudos to you you know just be safe but um yeah i don't know that that could just be a segue into saying like some of you are trying to trying for self-employment maybe in a very taboo way nine of pentacles Queen of Pentacles. Some of you I'm getting you're taking a trip out of town. I feel like you need to get away. For some of you, I feel like you just cannot believe what somebody said about you or what somebody did. Like, oh my god, you're this kind of person? Like, Jesus Christ. You're disgusting. Yeah, so six of swords. And I feel like something is not that far from the truth here, Aries. Like, this person deadass said that. Or this person is not that far from being a terrible-ass human being. Like, they are actually vile. Like, your suspicions are correct. This person is psychotic. But I also feel like, Aries, this person is not worth it. Some of you I'm getting this person wants to be like you so bad, but you can't. There's only one Aries, and Aries is always on top. Unless if you're of another, unless if you are also an Aries, you can never be like an Aries. You can try, but Aries is always first. Aries is the baby. y'all bitches could never all right aries that's all i got for y'all some of y'all may find out someone's pregnant um but i also feel like for some of you guys you want a relationship but you also want your singledom your singlehood but that's all i have for you aries i hope this reading helped you in some way and i will see oh sorry i'm stretching i will see you in your next reading bye